Hello, my name is Dr. Theo Dawson, and I'm here to show you how you can help your students learn better, learn faster, and learn longer with VCall Plus 7, the virtuous cycle of learning and the Plus 7 skills. This is the first lesson in Module 1 of VCall Plus 7 for teachers and learners. This course is for K-12 instructors, parents, and anyone else who is interested in supporting optimal learning. Although the examples in this course relate to K-12 learning, the principles are universal, applying to learning at any age. In this lesson, I describe the virtuous cycle of learning, its benefits, and the six big ideas behind it. The virtuous cycle of learning, which we call VCAL, is a cycle of goal setting, information seeking, application, and reflection. Its plus seven skills include reflectivity, awareness, seeking and evaluating information, making connections, applying knowledge, seeking and working with feedback, and recognizing and overcoming built-in biases. It is within VCALS that we practice and build the plus seven skills. In this lesson, I'll be focusing on the benefits of and big ideas behind VCAL. In future lessons, I'll be unpacking the four steps in the VCAL model and each one of the plus seven skills. Along the way, you'll not only learn how VCAL plus seven works in theory, you'll also be learning how to create VCALs for yourself and for your students. In a nutshell, VCAL is a simple learning model that's designed to accomplish three important educational goals. The first of these is preserving students' inborn love of learning by allowing them to learn the way the brain wants to learn and leveraging the brain's natural motivational cycle. Second is ensuring that students build the foundation for future learning by deepening their understanding of what they're learning in the moment. And third, building usable knowledge, including essential skills for thinking and learning, by supporting real-world application and ensuring that every learning event includes critical reflection. There are six big ideas behind VCAL Plus 7. All of them relate to how learning works, and we didn't invent a single one. Instead, they represent a large body of research in the learning sciences that spans over 100 years, plus a great deal of teacher experience. We hope you'll agree that we've distilled these ideas into a palatable and easily digested learning model. The first big idea is that the brain is neither a vessel nor a filing system waiting to be filled up with facts and correct answers. The brain learns by building up dynamic networks of connections between neurons. When we make rich connections between what we're learning and what we already know, we're more likely to remember what we've learned, put it to work in the real world, and build upon it over time. We call the kind of learning that builds rich connections robust learning. This is the kind of learning VCall Plus 7 has been designed to support. The second big idea behind VCall Plus 7 is that each new skill or idea we learn is built upon skills and ideas we already have. When we learn the way the brain is designed to learn, as when we learn to walk, we automatically set goals for ourselves that build upon skills we already have. We don't go from crawling to walking in one step. We build the skill over time with practice, experimentation, and support from others using the feedback from dozens of trials to continually recalibrate our goals. The third big idea behind VCAL Plus 7 is that optimal learning connects new knowledge with existing knowledge in a way that creates many connections between different parts of the brain, including those involved in reasoning, communication, perception, action, sensation, and emotion. Optimal learning truly is a whole person experience. This picture of what brain scientists call the connectome shows thousands of these connections. 
people whose brains have more connections across different functions of the brain do a number of things, including solving problems, better than people whose brains have fewer connections. This means that learning is about way more than absorbing facts, rules, definitions, vocabulary, or procedures. It's also about the way learning is experienced. For example, the way it makes us feel and how those feelings become associated with what we've learned and with the process of learning itself. A fourth big idea behind VCall Plus 7 is that high quality learning isn't possible unless we set the right learning goals. Learning goals should be just difficult enough to be challenging, but not so difficult that failure is inevitable. There are two reasons why this is important. First, and most obviously, if learning goals are set too high, we can't make robust connections between ideas. And if they're set too low, we get bored. Second, it's when a goal is just right that we're more likely to have fun learning and be motivated to learn more. This is because when goals are just right, our learning efforts produce success just often enough to ensure the release of pleasure hormones called opioids that give us a sense of satisfaction. And these opioids have a second effect. They trigger the release of dopamine, the striving hormone, which motivates us to set another learning goal so we can experience the satisfaction of success once again. By the way, we call the zone in which the learning challenge is just right, the Goldilocks zone. And the dopamine opioid cycle will repeat indefinitely as long as enough of our learning challenges are in this zone. Setting learning goals that are just right for a particular learner at a particular point in time is critical for robust learning. The fifth big idea behind VCall Plus 7 is that people learn through different pathways and on different timelines. For example, there is no one pathway or timeline for learning to walk. Children go from sitting to walking on different schedules and through a variety of pathways, all of which lead to competence. Similarly, there is no one-size-fits-all pathway or timeline for learning any other knowledge or skill. The sixth and perhaps most controversial big idea behind VCall Plus 7 is that learning is pretty much a waste of time if it doesn't build usable knowledge. If we only learn well enough to pass tests with right and wrong answers, we won't be able to build the kind of knowledge that will make us effective in the real world. Building usable knowledge requires ample application and reflection. Let's recap the benefits of VCall Plus 7 and the big ideas behind it. First, the benefits, which include preserving students' inborn love of learning, ensuring that students build the foundation for future learning, and building usable knowledge, including essential skills for thinking and learning. And here's a review of the six big ideas behind VCall Plus 7. Learning is about making connections. New knowledge and skills are built upon existing knowledge and skills. Optimal learning connects different parts of the brain. We learn best and enjoy it more when we set goals that are just right. People learn on different timelines and through different pathways. And learning that doesn't build usable knowledge is pretty much a waste of time. I hope you have found something in this introductory lesson that you can immediately apply in your classroom or your own learning. If so, try approaching the application as a VCall. Set a specific goal, acquire any additional information you need in order to pursue the goal, apply what you learn in a low stakes context, Reflect on the outcome of that application, then recalibrate your goal. Don't worry too much about getting your goal just right at this point. Be playful. You won't be graded on the effort. Lesson two in this module is about setting goals in the Goldilocks zone.